All right, today on the Satellite Nerd, we are going to look at Galaxy 16. We are going to look at 99 West on the C-band side to see what free channels are on there and what's on there according to the satellite charts. So I'm just going to show you my globe here. So this is North America. So 99 West will pretty much get anything here. Somebody's bitten off the uh, North Pole here, and part of uh, and part of uh, Alaska. Sorry, Alaska, um, but it's been bitten off here. But anyway, so uh, just to illustrate. So with satellites, they fly on a geostationary, geosynchronous orbit. And say my finger here is the satellite and it's looking at, you know, flying over the equator and is looking down on the Earth. So this is what kind of where the sat beam will be able to go. Now, a misconception about satellite is satellite is worldwide. Now they can downlink to an Earth station and then send it back up to a satellite and send a signal around the Earth. But what I get a lot of, because a lot of people are on this side of the planet, where there is Europe, Russia, uh, Africa, and uh, I get a lot of people there, and I get a lot of, can I get like 99 West or 97 West Galaxy 19 in their area. Now some people can get, if they have a big enough dish, on the west end of Africa, and maybe England, uh, and well, Ireland area, they might be able to receive it, uh, but you'd have to really look up sat beams on the sat beams website uh, to get a look at that. But just to give you an idea, that satellite is actually not worldwide. It, uh, they're, they're, like I, we can't, for example, in North America, we can't get a lot of the European satellites that have a lot more free satellite TV channels than what we get here in North America because they use a lot more free satellite TV in, uh, in this part of the world. Uh, not my part of the world, which is I'm in Canada, uh, North America, when I always, I always refer to it as North America because it's the United States and South America and countries like um, Venezuela and uh, Colombia, Peru and places like that, that can, they can get it uh, on the uh, South American part. So yeah, that's uh, definitely something to check out before you're aiming your dish. Now, I have an idea of what the North American channels are. I can get, I can get a few of the satellites in my area that are past 55 West, all the way to 133 West, just because of the way I got my trees here. I can pretty much get everything in the arc, the geostationary arc, the Clark belt. Um, there's different words for it. <laughs> there's different terms that mean the same thing. Clark belt, geostationary, the uh, belt and all that. It's like how free to air, I like to use the term free satellite TV to indicate that it's the free channels that are unencrypted is when I'm talking about free satellite TV that are free and in the clear for all to watch. So yeah, there's many terms in free to air satellite. So this is how you get free satellite TV channels is you get one of these dishes. <laughs> You can get them at Tech 2000. You can find uh, other accessories on uh, online. Unfortunately, in my area, you have to pretty much buy online. There's no satellite stores where you walk in. You don't walk into Best Buy and pick up a free to air satellite dish and a free to air receiver. You can buy the TV, but you don't. You're, they're not going to give you all the free satellite TV equipment that you'll need to uh, enjoy free satellite TV. Yeah. So a lot of the uh, satellites on the African European side of the globe are usually in the there'll be like uh, 40 east and then the North American side and on your receiver it will say for example 99 will be 99 west now if you turn the globe around the satellites people get in this part of the world will be we'll probably say east and then you could be in like in parts of the world like Australia where instead of your satellite facing south it has to face north to get up to the equator and I think there's a few other countries, I guess Africa, 
might be like that. Yeah, there's some places in Africa and South America that might be the same way where they have to point the dish in the opposite way. And it's interesting, one thing, because I'm the satellite nerd and I like looking at this type of stuff, is go to countries, uh, look on Google Maps at countries that are in like the uh, near the equator and look at this and then you look at the buildings and then all, all these buildings around the equator like close to the equator have satellite dishes that's just a big part of the world except for north america except for canada except for the u.s well they have satellite dishes but um like c-band satellite dishes and stuff you'll notice that the satellite dishes that are close to the equator are kind of looking straight up which is kind of an interesting which is pretty interesting yeah there's my globe global illustration Oh, I keep forgetting the uh, 22,000 kilometers or miles of a quarter of the way of the moon. I get the numbers. I, I can't remember. I always remember the numbers um, of how high the, the geostationary satellites are. But another thing is there's low Earth satellites, which are like the CubeSats, the um, Starlink satellites that are going up in orbit, in orbit now. There's weather satellites that are more in a orbit that will move around the Earth. The International Space Station is in a low Earth orbit, so it's closer to the surface of the Earth, where the geostationary satellites are much further out. They're about like you know, you'd be looking at the planet like that. Um, there is um, Dish Network used to have. You can find videos on YouTube of Dish Earth, the Dish Earth channel, where they play music and to just have a picture of the Earth um, from uh, one of the Echo Star satellites, which is kind of an interesting view to see uh, a live view of the weather of what's happening down in North America. I guess it would be like faced here, you know, and then it would, you, you could see what was going on. You could see the, the uh, eclipses and the, uh, the, the, the sun when the, at nighttime going over the uh, Earth, which is also something on Google, uh, Google Earth, you can look at the globe like that too which is kind of a neat feature at tvrosat.com. There's a page here that has uh, the satellite charts. I'll put a link in the description. Now you can go to where all the satellites for North America are listed here. It lists the USA, Mexico, Canada, U USA, Canada, um, Latin America, uh, Latin America and the Atlantic satellites. Some of these Atlantic satellites I can get, but the trees kind of block my view from getting some of these like from 40 west on to 11 west so when you scan through you'll see channels that are mainstays here you'll see npr national public radio which is kind of like i don't know um the america's cbc or like a pbs radio um for that's um publicly uh like they do funding drives i think they get money from the government and they have like Democracy Now! with Amy Goodwin who says Democracy Now!, democracynow.org like a million times during her show. And then there's GQDMX. GDMX is a, these are shows that are feeds. So I don't know exactly the shows that are on here, but I'll say for example, say Big Bang Theory will be on for syndication and it will have the show and then it will fade to black for like a minute or two where they where they insert the commercials for the affiliate um, markets. So sometimes I'll flip through these. I'll see the show that I'm watching and it will just fade to black for a few minutes and then come back. That's what a lot of these backhaul satellite feeds are like. Same with sports and stuff like that. Uh, there's the Believers of Voice of Victory Network which is a religious program. There's lots of religious programming up on the satellite. Uh, this feed, I don't know. There's Living Faith and Cornerstone. Uh, and um, another thing I should explain is that the frequencies will be the four digit ones on the side here. And it will say that, that it's DVBS or DVBS2. And it will be something like 8PSK or QPSK. And it will also show the symbol rate underneath and the FEC ratio thingy. So yeah, there's um, those channels. There's GDMX. There's Cox Sports, which I believe shows like a lot of college football or college sports games. And that's another thing you'll find when you do scanning, blind scanning for sa satellite feeds, you'll find lots of um, college sports feeds on the weekends. 
whenever there's a game, there'll be like a live feed out there. And then over on 3827, there's WSJX Puerto Rico, which is a Fox affiliate. And then there's WNBC out of New York, which is like the main NBC, you know, New York TV station. There's this TV, which is a channel that shows a lot of old movies. Like, uh, I think it's like MGM. I think it's an MGM type channel where they show old MGM movies. Or that might be movies that shows old MGM. I'm not sure which one. Anyway, it's, um, uh, yeah, basically it's just like old movies, which I like old movies from the 80s because I want to time travel back in a DeLorean back to the 1980s. There's WP WAPA America. Now, I'm not sure what that is. I don't know if I watched that before. Maybe I don't get this one on my dish. But it's been up there for years. Also, there's The Walk. Now, The Walk has been on Galaxy 19, uh, on C-Band and on KU-Band. But I'm not sure what uh, if it's still there. I don't. I haven't seen it there. I'm not saying it is. But sometimes in my area, there'll be a few channels that I just can't uh, tune in at times. And it's bot, it could be spot-beamed for another area. Portuguese chant, uh, programming. They'll have Spanish, English, French. So sometimes with uh, when you have these on, on your satellite receiver, you can go to the audio options and it'll have the different languages for the programming that is on there. So sometimes they'll have like an English, originally English program, and you can go to the settings and find the English. It'll be in like Spanish or Portuguese, but then you'll be able to find the uh, English version of it. There's also the Armed Forces Network, AFN, which stands for the Armed Forces Network. Now it's encrypted. And uh, so are these programs too. If the, you see anything here with the encryption, if it says FTA, that means it's in the clear. Now, if it says encrypted here, it will just tell you what type of encryption it is. Um, for Armed Forces Network, it's uh, Power View is the encryption that they use. Yeah, so I'm, I'm not able to tune. I, I get the signal is good. Like if you got a meter, having this transponder in just to you know make sure that you're locking the satellite. Is a good thing to have. The only thing is you don't really see the um, see anything except for the tone and bars that you'll be able to get, which is a, a nice thing if you're aiming a dish and you want to set it up. Another interesting thing is um, this channel used to be in the clear, or you currently can see the EPG information. It's one of the few satellites where you actually see the EPG information. So there's also the Televista Spanish channels, some more uh, AFM. Armed Forces Network uh, stuff that's uh, encrypted. Spanish stuff is in the clear, and it's kind of interesting to see what's happening, like South. Interesting perspective of, of the world through looking uh, at that. There's TV3, Publa, Canal de Casa, <laughs> La C channels, which is 4,000 horizontal, DVBS, QPSK, the symbol rates uh, 26,400, and the FEC's three slash four. If you're a shortwave radio listener, you may have, might have heard "Onward, Christian Soldiers" playing as a theme between as a bumper, and that would have been that would be World Harvest Radio. And they have the World Harvest Radio channels, the, the World Harvest Radio Angel One and Two, and they also have their channels, which are probably like sub channels in different markets. That would be like the WHME TV. They also have cozy TVs in this muck as well light tvs there family entertainment tv which uh, has lots of old school but more family friendly programming and some different radio stations that are part of the la c broadcast stuff and there's kwhb tv la c and another la c channel in hawaii kwhe kw kh and O in New Orleans, Louisiana, and of course, Light TV, which shows classic TV channels. I've done some videos before about Light TV. It's kind of like family entertainment television, except Light TV does have movies and shows like that, uh, but it tends to be another classic TV um, sub-channel. For a while it was encrypted, but now it's in the clear, which tends to happen, which sometimes does happen. A channel will be encrypted for years and then all of a sudden it'll be in the clear. Please keep it in the clear. Don't tell anyone. If you're with the powers that be, just don't tell anyone. Few of us are who are watching, still watching C-Band are enjoying this. Uh, there's the Shepherd's Cha Chapel, which went digital. For the longest time, this was like one of the analog channels. That and CPAC, I think, uh, were still broadcasting an analog c-band but i think i might be wrong but the, i think all the channels are now digital someone might want to let me know in the comments if there if there is still analog and then there is the abc feeds which a lot of people come to me asking me about a 422 receiver so they can get the abc 
feeds. So with the ABC feeds being 422, what I've found that I'm able to do, if I have a couple of satellite receivers that have the ability to stream to either VLC or to SM player. So on the receiver end, and the Edison OS Mayo 4K is the same, that it won't display it. It will actually display it kind of ABC kind of pixelated, the 422 stuff. But if I stream it over my network using a LAN connection and then stream it to VLC or to SM player, it comes in just fine. So bear that in mind if you're trying to, to view the 422 channels. All right, so if we switched over to the KU band side of things, we have, now the KU band will have like five digits, 11, 7, 65, DVB, S2, 8, PSK, 4,000 uh, will be the symbol rate. And then here you can get like a CBS news feed. On KU band, there is lots of news feeds. There's also this service from Russia that has in, uh, these encrypted channels. And one thing to, uh, if you're trying to tune a KU band dish, you can go to this, this one here tends to be the most powerful, always on board KU band transponder, which would be JBS is the unencrypted channel. I think there's some radio channels there too, from uh, Russia and Israel. Find that satellite just so that you're trying to get it tuned. There is CBS news which is always the feeds. Now, I always, on my old receiver, I used to do a scan and then it would scan in as like flying cow or something like that. Uh, I don't see the Fox News channel. Now, they may be Fox feeds or this feed might be up at certain times for uh, certain um, events or whatever, but I don't see Fox News there 24-7. Um, and maybe it's moved to this thing, this here where it's uh, it's encrypted with a BIS key compressed whatever that means. But yeah, there's the Fox channel feeds and you can actually sometimes watch their programming. They'll have it as a feed at certain times on these frequencies. So there's lots of news and lots of sports stuff that you can see up on uh, 90, 99 West. And also uh, there is, but I find it's a harder one to get is the one here at the bottom, this 12095 DBBS2, which might make it a little bit hard. The reason why uh, the InfoWars uh, transponder is hard to get is because it is DVBS2 and it's APSK and it has a 30 symbol rate of 3676 and a very high fec i guess it's a high fec five five and six a lot of people uh do have difficulty getting that transponder or during weather uh, certain weather conditions sunspot activity i don't know so to do a blind scan you go into your settings and you go into your reception go to blind scan now i've sped up this video just so that um it won't take as long just so that we can see this just within a few minutes and you can see all the channels that will scan in and at different times like on weekends you'll find sports feeds and all various uh, uh, programming so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up uh, please come to my site free satellite tv.net and uh, there's a link there with an invite to our Discord group, which will allow us to live chat and even voice live chat if you want to jump on there and chat with some other people about satellite. You can also go to tvrosat.com and you can also go to uh, other places online where you'll find information about free satellite TV stuff. So on 99 West C-Band Galaxy 16, it, the... Um, Edison Mayo will do a blind scan through all the transponders and we'll see what's on there today. Yeah. Now on this day I did scan a lot of channels probably more like 435 to 500. A lot of these channels are probably temporary feats. So they might not be there all the time. That's an unusual amount of feeds that are usually up on, on uh, Galaxy 16. And also there's a lot of radio feeds as well, which are up there. So when it looks like hundreds of channels, it's uh, a lot of them are radio feeds. And there's um, a good look at a lot, like a lot of channels that came in today. So thank you for watching this video. 
and uh, come back next time and please subscribe to this channel, Ottawa Octane. Thank you. Are you looking for a satellite dish, a satellite receiver, or a actuator, or a satellite meter, or an LMB, or any satellite products for your free to air setup? Go to tech2000.com. Look at their wide variety of merchandise of many free to air satellite products that will soothe your satellite needs.